in this video, we're going to um, once again use the auxiliary equation concept to solve this um, second order differential equation. The um, playlist for all the videos is at the website digital-university.org. Now, hopefully you saw the uh, previous videos in this series where we know that the general solution to this equation is y equals e to the mx. And we can have some constant in here too. And m, m is what replaces the differential. Here we have a second order differential. So we just have m squared plus 4. Here we have a, a derivative, just a first order derivative. So we have plus 4 m to the first power, that's just m. Then we have plus 4. And here there's no derivative, so we can think of it as a differential to the 0 power. So the y gets replaced by m to the 0 power, but that's just 1. So this is the auxiliary equation. And as you saw in the previous videos, we solved this. Since it's a second order differential equation, we have m squared here. So we're always going to end up with quadratic expressions, which, as you saw in the two previous videos, gives us two values for x. There's two roots to them. And it's the same thing here, of course. We have m plus 2 times m plus 2 equals 0. So first solution is m here equals minus 2. So y equals e m is minus 2 to the minus 2x. And we can have it multiplied by some constant. But now the second root is the same. And we haven't try to prove this in great detail, but for a second order differential equation, it always has two uh, linearly independent solutions. This is only giving us one, because now the root is repeated. And the way out of it is, is that the second one, another arbitrary constant, we have e to the minus 2x, only it's multiplied by x. And that would be the second solution to the equation. And then each of these are solutions. If we take their linear combination, that also is a solution to the equation. We showed that in the previous videos. Yeah. Any individual solution to a, to a second order of differential equation. If we take a linear combination of those two solutions, that also is a solution. So that would mean that the most general uh, form of our answer would be y equals some constant e to the minus 2x plus c2x e to the minus 2x. And that's, that's a solution right there. Now, why don't we do this? Hopefully from watching the previous videos, you would certainly accept that this would be a solution. But are we really comfortable that, in fact, this is a solution to this? We just put the x in there and saying this is what you do when you have a repeated root, which is true. That is, and we're not really giving any reasons to why it works in these videos. Um, we're just trying to go over the mechanics of what we have to do to get the answer. But let's see if we can convince ourselves that indeed this is a solution to this equation. So y2 equals this. Let's take its first and second derivative. So this will equal, here we have a product, so we'll have this times the derivative of this. In fact, for right now, let's make it easy for ourselves. We'll just consider 
this. C2 can be 1. So here we'll have this times the derivative of this. So that would just be e to the minus 2x. And then we have plus this times the derivative of this. That would be minus 2x times e to the minus 2x. Now, let's take a second derivative. And here we will have minus 2 e to the minus 2x. Minus, and here we're great. Here we have a product. So let's start with this times the derivative of x. That's just one. So this is two e to the minus two x. And now we're going to have this times the derivative of this. So the two comes down. So that will be minus four x e to the minus 2x. So this equals minus 4 e to the minus 2x and then we have plus 4x e to the minus 2x. So that's the second order derivative. Now let's see, for our equation we need the second order derivative and then we need plus 4 times this one. Let's write this in. This is the second order one. So we have minus 4 e to the minus 2x plus 4x e to the minus 2x. Then we have, we have plus 4 times this. So we have plus 4 e to the minus 2x. And we have minus 8x e to the minus 2x. And then we have to have plus 4y. And y is this. So we have plus 4x e to the minus 2x. And let's see now, does this come out to 0? Here we have 4x plus 4x minus 8x. So those cancel. And plus 4 minus 4, those cancel. Yes, it equals 0. So go to here. This is where we added the x in because we had that repeated root and indeed we saw that that is a solution to our equation. And you can show then by taking derivatives that here we can say not only is it this but it can be any arbitrary constant times that. And when you take this linear combination Take the first order derivative, take the second order derivative, plug the expressions into here, and you'll see indeed, as we did in the previous videos, that that too is a solution. But what we want to stress here then is that when we have a repeated root, like we did right here, then we have to introduce an x into one of our solutions. And as you can see, it's pretty straightforward. But we'll have a couple more videos where we'll uh, consider this. And then after that, we'll consider situations where we have a quadratic expression, but the roots are complex roots, and we'll see what kind of a solution that gives us.